So I spend lots of my time thinking about what is it with that, for that student, what, how can I speak to them directly? How can I, how can I say the thing that's gonna inspire them? Because I think at the end of the day, that's what teaching jujitsu is about, teaching generally, right? My name is Larry Hope. I am originally from Houston, Texas. I lived in New York for about 13 years, and that's where I started Jiu-Jitsu. Um, I started under Aaron Milam. He's a black belt under John Danaher, who's a black belt under Henzo Gracie. So it's the Henzo Gracie lineage. Um, I've been training for about 10 and a half years. Um, and I've been doing Jiu-Jitsu in Hawaii for about, I moved here about three years ago. I moved here because I was just getting really tired of being in New York. Came around vacation, I had some good friends um, who already trained at Nova Yale. About nine months later, I moved. Yep, and the rest is history. Then I started the school in January, January 2018. So right now is July, end of July. So about seven months. Uh, my name is Spencer Toyama. I've been with Larry since pretty much he opened the school. Yeah, I just really love the instruction and his philosophy. I feel like that's something very rare to, to find someone that values the art, compassion, and humility of jiu-jitsu. But for me, like, it being an art, one that can apply to kids, to adults, to very old people, and then self-realization. So those sorts of things are really important to me. Like you come in and you learn about yourself, um, and then in the end your jiu-jitsu becomes you, your personality. Probably any activity that you really devote yourself to, your personality starts to come out and you start to learn things about yourself that I think you might not have learned otherwise or you might not have been conscious of otherwise. So my name is Andy Detra and I met Larry probably about six months ago at an open mat and he was just wiping the floor with everybody, not in a bad way, but just like he had so much style and panache and I've just been, been hooked on the workshop ever since. And I think it kind of encapsulated how they thought about jujitsu, you know, kind of going in to like your lab, doing your work and just keep working on it, keep working on it, keep perfecting it, you know, like a craft, like woodworking or something like that. And so I think that's where the name workshop came from. Um, and then once I started school, of course, I'm going to call it workshop because um, that name is close to me and my instructors and I'm close to my instructors. So workshop made sense. My name is uh, Thomas Kambongsa. I've been training with Larry for maybe about three months. That's yeah, awesome though, the way he teaches. It's, it just clicked with me, you know? And once I, once I knew it clicked, I just decided that I had to come here. In the end, it's gonna have to be about you and your personality, things that make sense to you. Your expression, it has to be about you. Otherwise, one, it's not gonna be as fun. Two, you're probably not gonna be as good of a player if you're just trying to, you know, copy someone else because it's just not you. But at the end of the day, I need to inspire them. And I feel like that's what the challenge is. I'm Kelly, I'm uh, Larry's, I guess, wife. Um, we've been together for 10 years and we started dating when he was a white belt. <laughs> so if you're ever in the neighborhood, come train with Larry. Um, he always wants new people to come in, try his style out, you know, have a good role, hang out. So if you're ever around, come by. Maybe the most important thing about jujitsu to me is finding a group of friends, you know, a family. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to keep you here. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how good you are at, at jujitsu. It doesn't matter who you can submit. What does matter is that you have good people that you enjoy being around, that you, you know, develop um, bonds with.